In this next exercise, we'll be using paint to study how to draw some of the objects that we're going to be doing in our later art classes. Um, to prepare, let's click on the tab for view. We want to turn on the ruler. and I'd like you to adjust the paint area in Microsoft Paint to be 800 by 600. That'll help solve some problems when we go to fill in and create gradients. We'll click the Home tab and we're back ready to begin. In the first exercise, I would like you to, well, do a drill and using the normal mouse button that would be this button here and by default when you open paint this is the normal paintbrush normal mouse button and default color black I want you to draw a spiral now this will test your fingers um, and their control and the ability to make the mouse move around I actually have the palm of my hand on the surface that I'm drawing from as I'm going around as you draw your spiral, try to make your spiral follow or trace the previous line. You want the spiral to be two things. One, tracking the previous line, and two, as round or as smooth as possible. Your eye-hand coordination will be tested here. It's okay if the spiral gets a little thicker or wider as you spiral out. Spiral out. I want you to spiral this all the way to the outside until you touch one of the edges. We actually have another exercise that we're going to do with this spiral, so don't, don't give up, don't quit. We will need this. One more time around. Looks like I can make it now. My wrist can't rest, so I'm picking it up and moving it. And I think we are just about done. So I'll close it by hitting up the top of here. Now, if you really want this to make this look nice, you can put an arc from one edge to the other to imply that your spiral went off screen. I might do that, but it's not required. And one here. I want you to notice though I'm leaving a gap right here and I'll show you why that's important in a moment. We're going to go next, uh, still with paintbrush rather, we'll go to the center of the spiral and we're going to turn this into a lollipop by drawing a line pretty much straight down. That will bisect or cut each of these rings. Now we'll choose a color like red or green. I prefer that you choose a primary color. I'm going to choose red this time and we're going to go to edit colors because we're going to choose a range of shades and tints starting with one of the darker reds um, not the very bottom that's black so maybe three up I'll choose that I'll click OK and I'll use my paint bucket and I'll pour that paint in the very center and I'll go back again maybe two squares up because I have enough rings to support this I'll click OK and I'll pour it in the next ring because we put a line down, each of these rings are cut off so the paint won't spread. Now the definition of using a paint bucket or the function of a paint bucket is to, when you pour it on a particular color, in this case white, the math, the math of the logarithm, the program, searches for all other adjacent white squares. And it'll keep replacing the red color, the white color with red, for every square that's adjacent. Now when it runs into the black, that's when it stops. So if it's any other shade, oh well in this case I think I hit the black line. Well now what do I do? Fortunately for us we have an undo up here at the top of the screen. I seldom use that but if I put my mouse over it it says undo is the same as a control Z so I'll just press control Z. Yay I'm back I'm back in business. I'll continue to choose my colors going up the scale I think I have enough range in pinks to finish without running out every other one. That's my goal. I mentioned that I wasn't going to finish or close in one of the edges and that's because I wanted you to see what happens if even the smallest, even a single pixel isn't closed. Notice this is pink. Well I really didn't want it to be pink it's because it found this gap. We call that in our class leaking. It leaked past it and filled it in. I will go to the next or lightest shade and finish my drawing and then I'll repair that line by clicking paintbrush black I'll complete the line or close it and if I've lost track of the particular color that I wanted this to be but I know it's in these corners I can use the eyedropper and, or color picker and I'll pick that color it does pick it up even a custom color using the paint bucket will let me pour it in and now I'm done. So this is a spiral out with a gradient. 
Let's save this in a server folder and do another project.